Elzer Kortor is a painter and printmaker who grew up in Chicago. His parents moved here hoping for better opportunities like so many African Americans from the South. I was born in Richmond, Virginia, January 10th, 1916. He was accepted to School of the Art Institute. It was more usual for African American kids to go to the school in the 30s than it was in most other places. I went to the Art Institute. I wanted to be a cartoonist. In order to be a cartoonist, I had to take the whole course, you see, painting and all that other stuff. <laughs> but then I found out that I excelled in the other things, the painting part or the fine art part. Elzer is a figurative artist. He's an artist who tells stories. There's a very strong narrative component. His work comes out of his, his soul, his heart. I have to do it myself. I have to find out the truth. When I don't feel like I have to change it around, and that to me is the truth. He developed his mature style using a kind of image of women, black women, as an archetype for all people. Later, he came to dance, images of women dancing, and that was something that he developed in the early 1950s when he received two Guggenheim grants to work in Haiti. That's why I think of composition with something like that. It holds, you see, the composition. We're featuring Elder's prints in this exhibition. We have prints from the 50s, we have prints from around 1990. To be able to have 30 works by an artist, that's one of the things that we try to do in a museum, is to show the development of a very significant artist who is still alive at 99. And he's had a tremendous legacy. And you can't say that that often about artists of any race or generation.